Sorry, I got stuck in a posing <laughs> loop. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just checking my hair. My hair. We've been getting ready for an hour. No, I haven't. An hour. I haven't. You have been I've getting had a shower. Ready I've washed my hair. Yeah, and then you were sitting on the stool doing... things. Well, one needs to make oneself presentable for the show. <sighs> Don't you see, you you've got all this, you have to do all this and take all that time, all I have to do is smile. Yeah, well, yeah. I can't help being high maintenance. <laughs> Pain. Well, you know, some mornings you feel sort of, I don't know, sensual, and you want to look in the mirror and think, you know, I'm not looking too bad this morning considering my face is creased on one side and I slept heavily. So you look in the mirror, you want to make yourself feel nice. Don't you ever get that? I look in the mirror and think... You look in the mirror and think... Can I get down to the allotment? Well, you know, you've got to look in the mirror and not see a grey corpse looking back at you. Welcome to Sunday Chat! Oh God, if you were half dead, you're now awake. <laughs> so, welcome to the show. It's Sunday morning, it really is Sunday morning. Is it Sun? Yes, it is. What time is it? It's Sunday Jack time! No, time, as in the time. Alexa, what's the time? It's about past one. Well, even she doesn't She's know. She's not working. She's given up. She's been waiting so long for you. It's She's given you, up. It's because you shouted. It's 10.15. Alexa, what is the time? 10.22. She's not working in here. Have you turned her off? No. <laughs> Alexa. Anyway, welcome to Sunday Jack. Yeah, you said it three times now. That's more and than enough. And you are. I'm Richard, and this is Paul. Can I go now? Go where? Um, so my bit. This week, it's um, we're, we're not going to go on for too long because we've got the. RSPB Big Garden Bird Watch to do. Yeah. And we're hoping to film it. We're hoping to film it for you. You. And to, to show. Watch. To, to watch. Watch. We're going to sign the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, you can do macadang dang dong dong. I can. <laughs> I can do such a small amount of macadon. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Because if you don't use it, you don't. You know. You what don't. What does that mean? Does that mean the curtains need opening? Anyway, now I've got something in my eye again. Yes, we're doing the RSPB Big Garden Bird Watch today and we're going to film it at the same time and show it as a movie, as a video. <laughs> movie. Oh, God, I turned, in, I turned into Hollywood. It's the too. Yes, it's all gone to Hollywood now. It's my glamour, that's the thing. It just rubs off, doesn't it? On everybody. You do look very purple today. Very purple. I'm celebrating Prince. I'm actually inspired by Pag. Because Pag the Drum, if you've not seen Pag the Drum's videos, go to his channel. Uh, but he does videos about his t-shirts. And uh, he was wearing, he was modelling on his catwalk. Was there a catwalk? Kitchen. He didn't kitchen. walk on the cats. No, shut up now. He was modelling a couple of Prince t-shirts. And I thought, oh, I'll get my Prince scarf out and I'll tie it in a slightly different arrangement today, so I did. I think it's nice. I think it's glamorous, it's sensual, silky, soft. It's anyway, nice. It is nice. I've got this thing in my eye now. Have you, have you oh. done your conditioner purple conditioner thing as well this morning? Why, does it look more purple? It does. I'm not sure if it's just not picking up. No, I think it's scarf. just picking up. Right. I'd have washed my hair in my purple shampoo. Right. Um, but it's not that... It's the cheap purple shampoo that I'm using at the moment. It's not that good. It doesn't give you that much of a purple glow. The sun's gone in. 
Um, so yeah, RSPB Birdwatch, we're doing that. See you later about that. Um, also, there'll oh. be a new series of videos coming out. Will there? There is a new series that I'm starting. And... Is this where we impersonate Vera? No, love. Have you murdered someone? Have you someone? murdered somebody, love? Because if you, you have, have, we'll, we'll find, find out. out. The new series of Vera is now on ITV in the UK. Yeah. Eight o'clock, Sunday evening. It's really good. Well, we're last week we weren't. We so were a little yeah, yeah. bit. Mm. Maybe the director changed. I'm yeah. not too sure. But it, mm, mm. there were a couple of errors, mm. weren't there? Yeah. Nobody died. That was actually a Midsummer Murders once. What, there was died? a there was a Midsummer Murder where nobody died. Oh well, that's a wonderful. It should piece have been of... called Midsummer Non Murder, really. What an trade descriptions. Yeah. yeah. What an inspirational piece of trivia. I do I love the the ident for Vera. You seen the ident on? Well, did you ITV? see the thing I shared on? Yeah, that's the ident. That's, the that's ident. what I'm talking about. Yeah, where she's walking along the beach. I think that's really good. Yeah. Yeah, people have like seen Vera. it. Before. We watched the first ever episode of Vera last night. Yeah. It's very different, wasn't it? It was very different. She had a stronger accent because clearly she was trying. I think she's given up now. No. She's, no. she's, she's found she the does part slip. now. And she does slip occasionally. She, go, she goes into perfect. Mrs. Doubtfire. No, she slips oh, no. into a southern, slightly southern accent. Cockney. Not Cockney, no, but she does slip occasionally with the uh sound. The what? Uh. Something. Something. She goes something. Something. Sometimes. Something sometimes. She's not perfect, but she is good. Oh, uh, she is perfect. We love yeah, her. Yeah, anyway, let's move on swiftly. And she's a lovely person as well. Yeah. So what are we talking about this morning? Well, I was trying to. You'd got verbal diarrhoea all of a sudden. <laughs> Decided to go off on one. Have you it's quite a nice off? day. Stop doing your feet. Do that sandpaper rustling noise. You need to cream them. I have. Have you? I haven't put enough on then. Don't be walking around the house once you've creamed them. I don't. I put socks Getting on. Getting all I put two pairs greasy of socks footprints on. all over my beautiful Persian rugs. I put two pairs of socks on. Good. <sighs> Things I have to put up with. So also the cookery challenge has finished. We will be going oh, through the yes. entries. We'll go through all the entries. All the huge number of entries that Thousands. we have. We're engulfed. In entries. Yeah, we can do that in about an hour. Yeah. So um, we will be going through them and we will be passing on a selection of them to the judges for judging, funnily enough. That's why they're judges. Yes. Yeah. So, and the winner will be receiving a fabulous box of goodies. Oh yeah. And things like gift vouchers, kitchen things, gardening things, beautiful things, free things. No ugly things. No. No ugly things. So that's coming up. When? My new series, which I was talking about to the viewers before you so rudely interrupted me. That's when we started talking about the new series you of Vera. You started talking yeah. about the new series of Vera. Yeah, Sunday evenings, ITV. You're not getting paid for that, so stop promoting it. <laughs> I'm doing a new series of reviews, as requested by a number of you. Since I did the Kate Bush Remastered Reviews and the Kate Bush Remastered Pop-Up Shop Review Review uh, A number of people said, will you be doing album reviews? And I thought, well, why not? What was that number? What number? The number of people that asked A number of people, I don't know Well, one's a number Two people, maybe? I don't know <laughs> No, there were a few people. A few, few is as, two. No, yeah. as few as three, As Paul. few as three. Thank you very much. So there were two or three people? Possibly. Right. So for those two or three people that requested the Look, reviews... Look, that Kate Bush remastered video has had 
a huge number of views, Paul. It's got a huge, huge it has. following. It has. It's had a lot of reviews. It's had like it's three... a lot, a lot, a lot of reviews. All right, Scylla. <laughs> I'm exhausted already. <laughs> it's only 10.30. Yes, it's you. Oh, right. Blue sky. That's proper yeah, blue sky. No. Proper I can, I've blue got a song sky. in my head now. Proper blue sky. Yeah. Have you? Yeah, I've got two songs anyway, in my head now. Oh, God, you just determined But I've got three to... songs in my head now. So your reviews, which, which oh, album sorry. are you starting Are with? you now interested? <laughs> oh, you have a cup of tea. I am, um, by popular demand, I'm going to be doing the album reviews of Kate Bush's whole catalogue. And I'm starting with the 1985 epic masterpiece, Hounds of Love. Oh, love Hounds of Love. And I will be starting with that. So that's coming Why soon. Why are you starting with that Because one? it is, I think, such a meaty album. It's so full of amazing mm. tracks and I know them so well that's another song that it's quite easy for me to talk about it without any kind of preparation whatsoever so you haven't prepared this whatsoever no I don't need to I know Kate's music inside out right so I don't need to all I need to do is look at the track listing and that's it, it it's all there in my head I know the lyrics I know the themes of the songs I know Everything. In fact, I could go on Mastermind. Do you win money on Mastermind? <laughs> no. Oh, well, I'm not going on Mastermind. You don't then. win money on Mastermind. Do they do things like that on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? No, they don't. I do don't know. No. I don't. Anyway, it's got that stupid it's gone dark crack again. on it now. I don't care. Anyway, so I'm doing that, so you'll all be. Huge. So you're doing all the videos? I'm, oh, all the albums? I'm doing all the albums, oh, album right. by album. Right. Track by track. Right. Mm. So They'll be long. the next one? The next one I'm going, I'm going to do, I'm going to, I've done Hounds of Love, I'm going to do Ariel next. Because that's my next favourite. And then I'll probably do... Oh, are do you doing it in favourite? Kind of. of. Well, like oh, right. I say, I'm doing it the ones I'm... I, I'm familiar with all the music, so it's what easy about for Lionheart? me to do. Lionheart will come later. It is one of my favourites. Well, they're all favourites. I love them all. Anyway, let's move on from that now, because only two people are interested in that. Um, or three. So, oh, 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 yes, the most exciting piece of news this week is that Rob is back. Sapper Gardner oh, yeah, is yeah. back with a different channel, a new channel. The uh, Essayons... Family Garden. Yep. Or Essayon. 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 If you're talking in French. Essaye is the verb to try. So uh, Essayon or Essayons is taken from nous Essayon, which means we try. And that's the sapper engineer's motto, isn't it? Is it the motto? It is. It is. It's, it's the engineering the, the, yeah, division. Yeah, Sapper motto. Yeah. It's their motto. Um, and so for, for those who don't know what sappers are, they're yeah, engineers, engineers in the, the US Army. Army. Military, rather. Yeah, the military. Doesn't it mean let us try? It means we try. Nous essayons. No, nous essayons means we try. Well, that's what it's, it's the same thing, I isn't it? Let us try. We yeah, try. let us try. Us. Nous. Yeah. Yeah, but there's no, new. there's no there's no, 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 no. there's no new, there's no new, there's no new, no new, essayon. But it is from the verb essaye to try. Oh, absolutely. I think it's, it's, I think it's, yeah. Tu essay, il essay, nous, nous essayons, essayons, vous essayez, vous essayez ils, ils essay. Ils essayons, elles essayons. Oh, yeah. No, you don't pronounce that. Oh, well, there we are. Do you? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, God, 
suddenly I'm back so in French class. So long ago since we were French. Actually, it's quite long ago since I was French. Oh, yeah. It's twelve oh four. I could go on about the Treaty of of the Bailiwick of Guernsey and the Bailiwick of Jersey again. Well, that's a separate video, Paul. Yeah. Mm. Whether we can monetize that, I don't know. <laughs> So yes, Rob is back. Um, Essayon's Family Garden. We'll put YouTube, a link below. Obviously. So subscribe because it's Rob. It's we Rob. Were, we're so happy to see Rob back. Uh, it's fantastic. Previously, Sapper Gardener. Mm. Just for those of you who don't know. Um, so there you go. Just chat. Are we re yes, we are still recording. So what else? Did you want to talk about frog spawn? Well, when the, we, we said we were doing the RSPB, and that is obviously a register online where you say what you've seen. But there's also the toad and frog spawn survey, which is going on at the moment, which is at uh, wildlife habitats. What did I say? Freshwaterhabitats.org.uk. Yeah. Freshwaterhabitats.org.uk. They have a register, I think it goes from January through to May, I think it is, it may be slightly wrong, but it's certainly going on now. And when you see frog or toad spawn, you can go on there and you can register that you've seen it and the place that you've seen it and that type of thing. And that way they start monitoring the, uh, just like the great bird watch, they monitor frogs and toads throughout the United Kingdom. Mm. So if you do see frog spawn or toad spawn, or you see spawn that you think may be frog spawn or toad spawn, then go on to, what's it called again? Freshwaterhabitat.org.uk. It's called the Pond Net Spawn Survey. I don't quite understand why they don't do Newts. I don't think they do newts, but they may do. I haven't looked. I just them. think it's incredible how much they produce. I remember as a child, oh, huge amount. Um, I remember collecting a bucket of frog spawn and taking it home. Why? Because I was a child, and my mum saying, "What on earth are you doing? Take it back and put it back in the pond." Well, absolutely. Your well, mom of course. Would well, of course. I was a child. We thought for some reason we might take it to school or something. I don't know. We've got a couple of ponds at the allotment, so we'll be checking the spawn in the ponds there. Does it freeze? Frog spawn doesn't really freeze, no. no. It's, it has a, a anti-freeze anti in it. Yes. I mean, it can do, depending how cold it gets. But I guess it just moment. hibernates and goes into suspended animation. Yeah. A bit like that, I suppose. That's what I could do with doing it in the winter time. I thought you were doing that. That's why you took an hour to get ready. Have you finished then with the frogs and the spawn? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? There is chart, so you, it actually shows you the different types of spawn as well. So do go and have a look. Yeah, I Good. finished on that. And what are you doing at the plot this week, Paul? So I'm hoping to do the edge bed, the big edge bed, this week. So I need what are you to doing get some wood. To it? I'm edging it. Because at the moment it's just, it's like Vivi's beds and Vivi keeps her edges and everything of her beds so pristine and I never do. No, you don't. So I'm actually going to do the edging on that because I find it easier to work with edge beds. So you've got a bed that needs edging? Yeah, the large one. The large one in the middle where the pumpkins and the tomatoes and the beans were. That's one I want to do. It's big. I think it must be about... 3.2 by 6 metres, something like that. So I want to do that this Have week. And the then wood? I'm going to, um, I mostly need to get some wood for it. I've got some, but I need to find Buy others. wood. And then we're going to put the um, compost that we got from the zoo down on that. When, when I say we, I obviously mean I will be doing that. When Paul says we most of the time for his allotment things, he means I. I'm very collective and, and sharing, so I use the term we. You're sort of quite selfish and, and introverted, so uses the word I, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to be doing this week. Also checking out, see if then things happen with the peas, which I doubt. 
uh, and, and tidying. There's things that need to go to the dump. I've got two bags of stuff that needs to go to the dump. So I'll be doing that this mm -hmm. week. Also, there's it's going to be quite a busy week work-wise for me because we've got the press release for the um, shop in Cranley, the reduced plastic and no single-use plastic shop going out tomorrow. That's for Earth's sake. For in Earth's sake. Cranley in, in Cranley. Surrey. You can see our video on that, which is called A Store Is Born. Do you yeah, get that? It's, it's a good. Store Is Born. That was a really good title. <laughs> well, I thought of that. And think, if you, had, if you had a shop that sold frog spawn, you could have a store is spawn, couldn't you? That doesn't work. <laughs> Are you going to do one of those flying things that come in with the link on it? I might. Oh. What do you care? Well, I'm sorry, we won't watch it anyway. I'm selfish. Yeah. So what else are we doing? I don't know, I'm just sitting here. Oh, I went glamorous. to the doctor this week. No. I went to the doctor. People don't want to know anything about your illnesses, Paul. Oh, I... Nobody's interested in that. Are you? No. I heard two people say yes. Oh, well, then you better tell them. I had a pain in my chest which went from front to the back, which I thought was sort of indigestion. Which I like diagnosed that. because home diagnosis. <laughs> yes, Richard has trained for many, 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 in many, many years in reading things on the internet. Yes, I knew what it was. So knows all these things. I knew, is that a nest? <laughs> so I went to the doctor, that's no. a pulley. Is that a nest? That's a pulley. That's a bird sitting in the tree. It's a bird. It's a bird. Mm. It's I can't a, see without my glasses. It's a wood pigeon. It's a fat wood pigeon. I thought it was a round. nest. No. A moving nest. Anyway, as you can tell from Richard, I'm, I'm, I'm not really ill. So, um, but I did have to go and have an x-ray and I did yes. have to go and have well, the blood taken and something else. And I got to Ealing Hospital at nine about ten past nine and I had all three three things done oh, within an hour. Lovely, lovely. And you've got to have one of those doodars down your thing. A gastro gastroscopy. Gastroscopy. Gastroscopy, yeah. is it? Yeah. That's lovely. I've had one of those. It's quite fun. Marvellous. Marvellous. Mum had one as well. well. She was fine. Yeah, she was fine. Be fine. I'll be just fine. have a look down there to see whether you've got any ulcers. Yeah. From yeah. all the stress of living with you. Because people always say, well, you know, Richard looks so young and vibrant and fresh. And he's been able to live with me for 25 years. That's why I look old and tattered and grey. Because I've lived with you for 25 years. All right, Sister Condescendia. Almost 26 years. It'll be 26 years in... Have you finished? Love. Finished now. I forgot to no, know. I was just trying to work out five, yeah, four months and, yeah, four months and eight days. Well, that will be something to celebrate, won't it? And what's that date you've got in your diary for today? Have a go at Richard Day. <laughs> I wouldn't push it too far if I were you. Because you know the consequences. Oh dear. It's always worse for sulks. you than it is for me. Sulks. Shouts. I don't sulk. He shouts. Sulks don't happen in this house. We don't hold grudges. We deal with arguments quickly and we move forward. We it's never move more forward. than five minutes. Never more than five years. Actually, my mum and dad always said, never have another cup of tea with having an argument. Never have another cup of tea with having an argument. Yeah, what the so when, when you have a cup mean? of tea, your argument should be finished. 
that is such a stupid saying. No, it's not. It I is. Mean, well, they you never go. A lot of tea. You never go to bed on an argument. That is the saying. Yeah, I know. Never but, have a cup of tea on an argument. But what happens if you have an argument at, like, eight o'clock in the morning? You have a cup of tea and move on. You have a cup of tea and you move on. But that's yeah. not what you said. Oh, yeah, no, maybe not. No, no, you didn't, Paul. But if you have an argument at eight o'clock in the morning, you don't want to wait till you go to bed to no, sort you it move out, on. do you? You move on very quickly and you say, would you like a cup of tea? Let's move on. Would you like a cup of tea? I've got a cup of tea here. Let's move on. Thank you. <laughs> well, we're finished. That's it. Have we? I'm That's sure it. there's something else we can say. Is there? No, I think we've finished now. Mm. I've finished. Have you? Had a good trustees meeting at Social Farms and Gardens. On, th on Friday and Saturday. That all went very well. There's going to be some interesting news to announce shortly. Mm, better be. Yeah, some really interesting news to announce shortly. What kind of interesting news, though? Is it really exciting? It is exciting because it's going to see an expansion of the, the work that Social Farms and Gardens members mm. do. And that is very exciting. Oh, good. So, yeah, good. all of that coming up. Mm. Lovely. And yeah, that's about it really. Is it? Mm. I had a lovely time whilst you were away. I'm sure you did. Mm. Yeah. Mario came over. Oh right, oh, right. <laughs> when you said came over, what do you mean? Mario popped over. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You popped over and came over. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, he didn't really. Mario's my fictitious lover. Is he? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought it was real. Yeah, you didn't know that because you haven't watched my vlog. Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't. I've Where been... I joke about Mario. Oh, I've been too busy doing things. Oh, honestly. They're all up to speed. They know who Mario is. Well, I'll have to go and find out. <laughs> Anyhow, we do hope you have a lovely, lovely Sunday. And we hope that you've enjoyed this Sunday chat! Jesus Christ. Merry Mother of God. <laughs> It oh, is you, a have, you couldn't put your fingers in your ears. No, I didn't. No. Therefore, I now have a burst eardrum and we'll have to go to A&E tomorrow. And take well, not, the day off work. Not today. <laughs> not today. Go tomorrow. No, I'll time it for tomorrow. Mm. Um, you yeah. changed that painting up there. I have well. changed it from the Kew Gardens to the... Um, I was going to say something rude then. I don't know why I was going to say something rude. That's a geranium. I know, it's a Pelagonian, I was going to say something else. Were you going um, to say Volvo or something? <laughs> I was <laughs> not going to say. It was just ridiculous. Yeah. Because with my glasses off, it kind of looks rather sensual. Flowers do, though, don't they, sometimes? I can't see what you're getting there, even if I squint. Well, you don't want to see what I'm getting there. Oh, no, most probably not. But no. flowers are, aren't they? Those big oh, sort of are. things and... We were thinking of getting a picture fly thing, weren't we? You want to get a Venus fly trap. A picture fly thing? You want to get a Venus, Venus fly trap. Yes, I'd trap. love a Venus fly trap. I want to get picture... Well, we get both. One. Put them on the windowsill for summer. So they can catch the flies. Because we've got spiders in the house and we keep the spiders. Mm. We don't ever get rid of the spiders. <gasps> yeah. I was sitting on the and toilet they get this the flies. morning. And there was a spider trying to go up the cupboard. And it was, it was where you've painted it. It's sort of quite slippery. So I sort of had to give it a little, a little nudge. nudge and oh. help it go Bless up the them. cupboard. Bless. And it's now on the floor. I don't think it liked it at the top of the cupboard. So it'll come back it'll down. find a way to wherever it needs to go to. Mm. Mm. Yes. Anyway. Anywho. We're going now. Because we've got bird watching to get on with and more videos to make and upload for you. Mm. So we'll keep this to a minimum this week. Mm. Oh, Kelly. Kelly's Kitchen Garden has put up a 
video for her tiger roles. Queen of the bread. She is Queen of fantastic the bread. baker. She Absolutely is. Absolutely fantastic baker. She's the queen of the bread. She is. Definitely. She's amazing. She's 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 queen of planet vegetables. Kelly, you've got the making. knack. You've got the knack, clearly. Yeah. The, that, that. I've got, she's got more of a nap than you have. Oh yeah, absolutely. I tell you. Absolutely. I just started the Yours ball rolling. Yours end up with Kenny's holes in them. That one did. This I didn't, morning. Yeah, well that's bread. because you, you, he uses my lame things and then takes them off. Lame. To where you think you cut the bread. Lame. Yeah, lame's thing, isn't it? It's a lame, isn't it lame? What anyway, are you talking about? It's the razor thing that you use to cut the bread. You I used, used my, them. Yeah, you used my For last what? two green ones. I don't know, but you did. I've, I've never touched your razor you things. You have. You have. You You've got razor blades. Could... Proper no, razor I don't. blades. I don't. I they were in the cupboard. More. They're in the drawer, but there's no more left. So I need to get Ooh, some more. That was a gust of wind. Bloody oh, hell. Oh yeah, it's just picked up suddenly. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, windy, windy. Yeah. But do have a look at Kelly's Kitchen Garden. Her fantastic tiger bread recipe yeah. it looks really really good so have you got anything else to pop in there before we say goodbye again no no i don't think so right we're going now and that's it sunday chat over and out sunday chat over and out goodbye see you in a bit for the bird watch bye Thurs Bye. Thursday. That's what you're supposed to say. Thursday. Thursday.